Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna take you on a tour in Vidin, which is 20th. The 20th, 20th. <laughs> a city in Bulgaria, but this small city of only 40,000 uh, inhabitants has a long history dating from the 9th century. And today we're gonna take you on a tour which you can find on a mobile app created by Questo to discover it's beautiful fortress that's still standing. It's a medieval fortress, right? Oh my god. Uh, 10th century. Baba Vida. Baba. Okay, they have a lot of history. They Legends, uh, too. They, they were conquered by uh, the Romans, created by the Celts, the place, the city. Yes, uh, it was, uh, you know, apart from Bulgarian, it was also ruled by uh, Serbs and the Hungarians. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. a lot of fighting for this place and it's by the Danube actually so if you're coming from Romania let's say Craiova or even from Bucharest Bucharest is like three hours and a half four hours away uh, Sofia is also like three hours away from here it's by the Danube uh, during summer I think it's better because right now in December it's kind of cold <laughs> I think we chose the coldest day of the year to do the tour but this is us <laughs> going through everything just to discover a new place So the first challenge of this trip in Vidin, Bulgaria is to pay for the parking. Finish? That's all? Okay. So first things first, we found the really big building, which is the ministry of building of Vidin this municipality. And here, just inside as you go on your right. Uh, there is a small office and you can pay for the parking. You just take a picture of your um, plate, license plates, and then show it to the man here. He spoke a bit of English actually, it was quite alright. And um, you can pay by card or cash. One hour is one left. That was really helpful and people were so friendly. The guy that took us here, oh my god, he was like, thank you for coming. And he did not speak English at all. That was so, so friendly. Okay. Now, on to our tour. So, as I said, today we are doing this uh, Vidin tour, which is on the Questo app. So I already downloaded the tour, you can do that before you get here. And uh, basically you have a map and it shall indicate the starting point, which is right here in front of this monument. As I said, this is a monument for heroes, Bulgarian heroes from the First World War that helped build this nation up. Basically they sacrificed their life to, you know, have this wonderful land of Bulgaria that we have today. Edward is gonna help me or, <laughs> in this tour. Or as usual, be getting in the way. No, usually Edward is the one um, researching and you know more of a um, historian. I just hope <laughs> it's not simple math again. No, no, no. Yeah, last time it was something with the Is years. It? Yes, yes. I had to to add years, and I ended up on a different street. Yes. <laughs> so this is the starting point, and let's click on start now. I think at this point I have to say that this is not your regular tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a treasure hunt, or how do you call it? Treasure hunt, it's yeah. a treasure hunt, basically scavenger hunt. Uh, a scavenger hunt. Yeah, that's right. the word. So um, we have the story, but to put all of the story together and see what happened, we need to uh, give this uh, tour some answers. So basically, uh, within the time traveling Ottoman ruler, um, apparently the Ottomans were here. <laughs> Not apparently, for sure, but uh, this drawer gives uh, my character 
a name. It's Osman Pazvan Toglu, a man who rebelled against Ottoman rule over Bulgarian lands in the late 1700s. Through great bloodshed, you establish your own vast territories independent from the Sultan. Apparently here. You reign supreme over these lands from the seat of governor in the city of Vitin, where we are right now. However, after a long night of drinking <laughs> with your friends, you have woken a cemetery upon a grave bearing your name. Oh my god, what have these people done to me? <laughs> you can navigate this Vidin of future and of the future and find your way back to your own time. So basically, <laughs> Eddie, today we shall be traveling through time. So this is the first info that the tour gives you and we shall uh, click on continue. Oh, okay. And I think um, there's uh, also uh, a clock here. So you're, you know, <laughs> we have to hurry <laughs> because I think this uh, tour gives you also a, um, a ranking based on your time that like you need to uh, solve all the puzzles really fast. So uh, you can also press on this option here, which says guide me. I don't know if you can see it. Continue. Okay, chapter one. You are walking aside on a hard, outside on a hard, dusty surface, and your head spins as you try to stand. Never drinking again. Speaking. Where did I end up this time? <laughs> Apparently, here in a very cold place by the Danube. As your eyes finally come into focus, you see your name engraved upon a stone. Wait a minute, that's a gravestone. You are standing upon a grave. Challenge. This is our first challenge. Are you ready? This is the resting place of Osman Pazvantoglu, forgotten and forbidden by the passage of time. Still, hints of this, of his history remain. In what year did he die? Oh, okay. So, so now the challenge is to find, I think, this guy's uh, funeral place, like his gravestone. Find out the year he died and then type it here. Right? And I have a map and I think this is... Uh, on a clock, so we have to hurry. It's okay. So fortunately, there is a map to get you to your uh, next stop. Basically, the place you get the clue. But what is this place? <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Has this been tested? There's a stray dog. Hello, doggy. There is another monument right there. <laughs> It was not that one. So you have to, luckily there is a map, as I said, like three times already. Just look at the map, follow the map. Uh, although this map on the iPhone, it's a bit off. It's not here. <laughs> so we found a first stop. It wasn't easy. Uh, so, you know, you have to really look out for the places, not exactly <laughs> as mentioned on the map. Just look left, right, you know, 10 minute meters over there, sideways, but this is the place. I'm not gonna show you exactly or share exactly where it is because I want to uh, keep it fun for you guys. But now we have to find the year of his death. Was it? Yeah, I have. I have an idea, but it's a bit. Uh, <laughs> right, the writings uh, kind of come off. Is it 1579? So the resting place of Osman Pazvan Toglu. Yes, I checked the name. Forgotten and hidden by the pattern. Still, does history. What year did he die? Now you have to find a year. I think I see one digit. <laughs> we and, need a, and, and the a space four. For, for another three, but that's it's, it's pretty. You have to you have to touch it to, to really read it. Okay it's, okay. it's more like braille. Shall we try it? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's try it. So Eddie was right. Actually, we got our first clue. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Continue. Back to the story. It's time for a pause now. Uh, died in... Um, I'm not gonna say the name, the number. Um, it's nonsense. I am much alive. Is this a prank? Or yeah, he's very angry. Um, <laughs> looking around, you notice how different everything looks. Well, yeah, it does look a bit communist. Uh, this could, could get better at some point, I would say. The I Ottomans think. lost. No, communism. Yes. Yeah, to communism. <laughs> you read a date where you see on the newspaper on the floor. Hmm. When uh, Osman realized that we are in 2022, he uh, got kind of angry and he's running away. And uh, apparently, 
So he was the heir of a rich Janissary family in the Vidin region. He decided to separate Vidin from the Ottoman Empire, conveying his clear political program to the people instead of paying annual taxes to the Sultan. Nobody wants to do that. You pay me once every seven years and I'll be your protector. Pretty sweet deal, I would say. So he took control of uh, this guy, Pazvan Toglu, this uh, guy from the grave right here. He took control of Vidin in uh, 1794 after he invaded a fortress with 1,000 soldiers and became its commander by force, because that's how things were done back then, by force. His next step was a classic new regime move to kill Aura his foes and place his supporters in all positions of authority. He died here, again, I'm not gonna say the year he died, and uh, on the gravestone it's, it reads, God is creator of all, you who read a prayer to calm the souls of the dead, do not ask me for a device. While you still have the chance, do, not, do good for the people. Know that there is resurrection for the dead and there is judgment. Before the soul says goodbye to the body, you must fulfill the promises you've made. Uh, remember poor Osman with goodness and be good. Okay, cool. he, le he loved uh, talking a lot. Uh, where to next? <laughs> Face the grave. Okay, start walking to the left and then turn right. Okay, this is getting complicated. Uh, so basically we have a bunch of directions and then we have to reach a building with a tunnel. Okay, we'll see you there. Okay, so I think we found the old building that we were looking for. Apparently there is a tunnel. Maybe this is a tunnel. Don't show it to them. <laughs> it's a surprise. Anyway, the clues here are... Uh, like, you really have to pay attention. And also you have some sort of energy points here in the app. And you can use those to get directions on the map. But... From my point of view, <laughs> the map isn't quite accurate. And also, uh, I have a feeling that uh, using these points are gonna um, cut from, like, add to your uh, final, Sorry, final time. Points. Yeah, from your final, like, the ranking at the end because you get ranked with other people that have done the same tour. So if you're like super competitive, don't use that. But you might get lost. So <laughs> continue. Okay, chapter two. <laughs> As you run through the strange yet familiar streets, your state of shock and confusion only uh, intensifies. People are dressed oddly, and shops offer bizarre goods. Sharma. <laughs> that should uh, feel familiar, I guess. Hey, a metallic carriage rumbles by, but no horses pull it. Yes, we are on a shortage of horses this year. You stop in a tunnel trying to make sense of what you've seen. It, it, it is Vidin, but not as you know it. You see writing on the stone. I think he wants us to go inside. Challenge. There are a number of stone slabs with writings on them scattered around the museum. Oh, this is a museum. Search for the phrase. I'm not gonna tell you because, you know, I'm gonna take the fun out of it if I do. So, what is the word written? Basically, we have to find some writing, we have to find some words, and then we have to type in our answer. I'm not gonna show you anymore, but how cool is this building? Look, <laughs> you can show it now. I think we found it. What letter is that? Two words? G. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> you trace the faded letters, but I had carved that myself only a week ago and this is a museum. Finally, it clicks. The newspaper said, 2022, I must learn uh, what I can while I'm here. You walk into the street. You walk into the street. I have to face the fountain, so that's that way. And I have to go down left. Basically, uh, a bunch of clues to the next stop. A bunch of clues to the next stop, yeah. So this tour, I think, takes you uh, through the entire city of Vidin. Luckily, Eddie has learned how to read the map and follow directions. So, or two. I, I don't know how to read a map, but I can sort of read, and she can sort of read a map. 
so together <laughs> together we make a good traveler so that's we make it work. <laughs> what are we looking for now we're looking for uh, an ancient looking structure mm -hmm. Edward yes. this could be ancient it could it has like a well certainly old <laughs> I think we found a place also just to give you a hint of how cold it is today here's an icicle <laughs> it says that you walk through the tunnel and uh, you see people clad in bright offensively revealing garments because in our time bare legs were rarely seen even stranger many seem entangled with slim Rectangular objects tapping them, smiling at them, even talking to them. So, yeah, you're in shock. But then you see something familiar. Before you enter the tunnel, which I guess we already did, look out for the sign of the flood. So, we started this tour about 40 minutes ago, maybe more. I don't know. And now we are looking for a mosque. And I have to say that I'm a bit confused. Where is the mosque? Because right now we are in a park and Eddie says it's that way. And uh, where is it? Because <laughs> I'm kind of cold. I'm just going to say it's that one. But is that one? Not sure. Could be. So we're looking for a mosque and from there and there we'll see where next. But um, you know, my suggestion is to bring something warm if you decide to do this tour. Of course, you can do it all year long, but... Uh, liquor. Liquor seems to help. And tea. I was thinking about tea or coffee, you know, hot chocolate, stuff like that. Something we can all drink. We just don't do it in the winter. Or yeah, but you can do it or you want long. So. You stop to admire a mosque, but upon reading the plaque, are surprised to find that you yourself will build it in a few years. In your real time, that is, you suddenly have a brainwave. Ah. I always keep a book with a record of local events in the mosques I build. Is it possible that one could have been kept updated? So the quest right now is to find an entrance, which we did. And also the clue is... Eddie, read it. It's, uh, it's written in gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's a code, <laughs> apparently. Remember, this is a scavenger hunt. There's a cat. And uh, we are true puzzle solvers so we're gonna solve this one too this is the entrance okay looking better let me show you the entrance in the row closest to the good job eddie just learn how to read and the challenges that we're facing please edward to continue your operation So my eye situation has not been uh, solved, but we solved the puzzle here in front of the mosque. After some minutes of searching, you find what you're looking for. Yeah. In one big heavy tome, you find a record of events stretching back to the day the mosque was opened. The Romans were here. Right, the city is like super ancient. The Caleto Gate. Flip through the book. There's no record of your disappearance, but... There is a chance you can make it back to your time. Time for time travel, I told you. If you can get there, there must be a way back. But where to even start? No one you know is even alive in this time. Your eyes sparkle as they pause on a name marked in the book. <laughs> Edward is reading the instructions again, but I think we found the gate. So, what does he say? Book? No yeah. book. Uh, no idea. It's a... Uh, <laughs> it's a mystery. It's a real mystery. <laughs> Look, there is a statue of a naked guy. <laughs> That's folks. A waterfall of green cascades over the wall. Right. But what grows above the gate of this stone garden? That's it, son. Since I'm hopeless, I can get a clue, but it will cost me 30 points. And we've already lost so many points <laughs> that <laughs> at this point, we're halfway through, so... And we're freezing. <laughs> we're freezing. So since we are freezing, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the clue. The hint says 
no, don't say the same. It, it doesn't actually say anything, but it shows you where to look, because uh, above the gate is actually a symbol. So uh. that should show you. Shh. It should show you what kind of plant it is, but it doesn't actually say what kind of plant. So you still have to no. name it, right? Uh -huh. Kind of plant that is. What is it? Where do we go next? I guess we're we're going to the synagogue because uh, somebody gave this uh, this guy uh, a weird flowery elixir, and they had to meet at the synagogue. So that's where we're going next. <laughs> All right, uh, there was a disco here, and uh, it was run by the Balkan tourist. No, oh, we can still hear the music right now. It's uh, yeah, it's a different kind of music. It's less danceable, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh... Somewhere on these streets, we should be able to find an old fortress. Now, do we have fortresses here? No, we have some houses, but... Yeah. Look, Edward, I think we found a fortress. We, we did, by luck or, uh, you know, perseverance. We did. You enter a gate, but the way is blocked by some men swinging... Swinging from the bottom, sorry. Hey, where do you think you're going? In that fruity outfit, one says, blocking your way. How dare you, peasant, make way for your ruler? You bellow, shocked at his insolence. Ruler, I run these streets, you costume party freak, he shouts. You long for your army. Who wouldn't? What we have to do is answer in what century was the defense structure. Is it here? It is, it is. We don't film it because. You see, it's pretty, pretty easy to see okay. what you spot the sign. Finally, Finally, one easy answer. We're way behind, so let's see. <laughs> Three more left. This led to the market outside from uh, the city gates. Wait, at this point, I want us to to make it a, like more challenging. More challenging? No, more it's, challenging. it's challenging enough. <laughs> and see if we can finish this in less than two hours. Which, which means in uh, like 25 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We have three, we four. Have three so here we are in the courtyard of a barracks. I know it doesn't look like that, but this is what it is. So our friend Osman, or our character, looking at those cannons, and he had a bright idea. Let's see what it is. We got rid of the people chasing us at the barracks and now we found a nice point. Walk through the park. Kind of cold, not gonna keep it. Uh, well, what you cannot tell, but this is the synagogue. By the time you're gonna visit this place, it's gonna be awesome, amazing, and reconstructed, of course. Powder magazine. It's just a place we're looking for. Could be, could be. See? Yeah, they just. Cylinder. No. Cylinder. So, this is our uh, one of the final stops. But inside this place, currently, our friend Osman used to keep his. Uh, and powder. So we found the right answer to this very much unique uh, monument in uh, Bulgaria. So basically, it's one of a kind. And on the other side, spoiler alert, we have the next stop, but I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Again, you have to go around and you know find a clue. <laughs> Let's go. So here we are at the entrance of the fortress. So this is the entrance. Usually you can visit it because I can see there is a ticket center, so, but today is closed. Anyway, luckily we don't need to go inside to finish this tour. The answer that we are looking for for the next riddle is right over here. I'm not gonna spoil it for you again, but you have to pay close attention to what's written here. And uh, this will give you the key to finish this wonderful tour.
So finally, after one hour, no, after two hours and 26 minutes, we reached our end stop. We uh, walked four kilometers. We got a score of uh, two hundred, no, two thousand five hundred eighty-two. This is our score, and uh, basically we reached and discovered this medieval fortress, which is uh, the only one still standing in Bulgaria today. Uh, that was cool. Um, that was a nice story. Um, and that we, we got to travel all around the city. We went for four kilometers, but we kind of froze that. And at some point, I'll tell you the truth, like my brain stopped working just because of the cold, just like a battery. Anyway, it's a super cool city to discover. Do not miss it. Do do the tour. It's totally worth, worth it. It will take you all around the city. Uh, it should take you less than two hours. What's the highlight? Uh, the fortress, you're gonna go and see a wonderful fortress, you can go inside, it's like to live, the ticket. Baba Vida. And it's just simply amazing, so do not miss it. Uh, thank you for watching the tour of Vidin. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you are inspired to visit uh, the city if you're nearby. And see you in my next video. Thank you for watching, bye bye now.